Hello Cupcakes, my name is Rosie and this is my bedroom. The theme of my room is kawaii, as I love cute things that are coming from Japan. Especially Sanrio. As you can tell, I love my Melody, and she's pretty much everywhere in this room. But you'll see other characters sprinkled here and there, so if you're a Sanrio lover, consider subscribing to my channel, and definitely follow me on Instagram as it is dedicated to my lover Sanrio. Since my melody is pink, I decided that all my furniture should be white, so the pink isn't super overpowering. It does happen quite often that I lose things in here because everything I own is pink and it just blends in, like, where you at? My room is arranged in a way that is functional first, aesthetic second. I try to organize the chaos as much as possible using logic and prioritizing space to where it's needed the most. When you arrange things in your room this way, you find it naturally looks more neat and organized. And because all of my daily use items are cute themed, there's really no need to decorate. It just naturally looks that way. You'll see more examples as we get started. My room has three main areas. Sleeping area, makeup area, and storage area. Anything unrelated is not in this room. For example, I don't do any gaming or video editing in here, which is why you don't see a desk or gaming stuff anywhere. Let's talk about the main area, my bed. I have a horrible time sleeping as I'm a light sleeper and the literal sound of a mosquito farting will wake me up, so I usually sleep with the TV on. For this reason, I place my TV in this short wall space and place my bed directly in front of it. The Rilakuma covers the TV when it's not in use because it throws off the whole vibe of the room otherwise. Yes, I realize it's dirty. Is that chocolate milk? Well, I hope it is, because otherwise, what is it? Anyway, the cubby just hosts a few plushies and some reading material at the bottom. I wanted to create an accent wall, so I used this really low quality pink and white striped paper from AliExpress. Because I rent an apartment, I can't glue the wallpaper on, so I use double-sided tape and literal thumbtacks to keep it up. And it works just fine. To give an illusion of a larger room, I added this canopy. The vertical lines created by this makes the ceiling look a little bit higher and adds an interesting focal point. Also, it makes me feel like a princess. <laughs> Since most cute bedding is made for smaller bed sizes, I decided to go for a full-size bed which is a little bit bigger than a twin bed and is technically meant for teens, but this smaller bed does give me more space. Plus, I need a small bed, otherwise I can't use all of that My Melody bedding that I have. In order to achieve symmetry in this space, I place two identical nightstands on either side of the bed. Each has two drawers and an open shelf which helps add a decorative element. Here I store things that I typically would need at night, such as medications, tissues, eye covers, reading glasses, and so on. And on top, I have little lamps which act like night lights and look real pretty in the dark. On the side of my bed, I added this canvas art of some Chanel tigers. It was pink, it was sparkly, and tigers. I was born in the year of the tiger, so I had to have this piece. These two are interesting. These are actually parts of a disassembled white locker. I remember these are magnetic, so I hung them here, and now I can use them to stick messages or reminders for myself and I can even use dry erase markers on it. The next area is my vanity mirror. I wear makeup daily, so you bet I'm in here a lot. I reused my old computer desk from Ikea and placed this old mirror on top to turn it into a vanity. Placed on top, I have a small makeup organizer that houses my most used items. The desk has one drawer, which holds all the makeup that is not aesthetically pleasing or doesn't fit with the overall color scheme of my room. The two tower shelves are arranged with items that are purely decorative on top, items that are used regularly closest to where I can reach them when I'm sitting here, and all miscellaneous items at the bottom inside of junk boxes. This is a good way of storing items that aren't essential while keeping the space looking pretty. So I do have a lot of Sanrio makeup, and some of it I've had since my last room tour video. <laughs> Unused. And that's because I feel like if I use it, I might ruin it, so I don't. But in my defense, at least it's displayed properly instead of sad and forgotten in a drawer. I made a video showing this Twin Stars collection from Wet n Wild, by the way. Be sure to check it out when you can. The collection looks a lot smaller when it's out of the box. Speaking of Twin Stars, this is a bath mat under the desk with a matching pillow. I just like feeling something soft under my feet and this was the perfect size, so I placed it there. 
Since I use a crappy plastic IKEA chair, I place this huge cat paw cushion on top of it for added comfort when spending my time here. This area of my room was once for my desk, but I decided I needed more space, so I moved it to the living room. Now this space is mostly decorative, housing my Sailor Moon manga collection and figures. The rest of the cubby holds books, plushies, and storage for smaller items. I am a firm believer in displaying the things that you own. There's nothing more sad than forgetting about things by placing them inside of boxes or drawers. By displaying things, you are also becoming more aware of how much you actually possess, and it can help make you a more conscientious consumer in the future. So if you have it, show it off. If your instinct is to stuff things in a drawer after buying them, is it really something you needed in the first place? I also use this area for eating inside my room, as well as doing arts and crafts. I have a small twin star rug that makes it a fun, cozy area for snacking, reading, or working on my laptop. Next to that is what I consider my small plushie collection. I use paper lanterns to create this focal point along with this cute Sakura garland, both of which were bought from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. On the left, I display my Sanrio bags, but honestly, I don't have that many. I'm not a hoarder, but maybe I am, because I actually don't use any of these. To the right of the plushies is a tower shelf that also displays some collectibles. But honestly, when it comes to buying Sanrio things, I definitely focus on useful items more than decorative ones, which is why this area be looking kind of empty. The last area is the closet. There's not a lot of cute going on in there, but I'll give you a quick look so you can see how I organize. I placed a 3x3 cubby on top, which I use to store all my folded clothes that I seldom use. The rack in the center is to store clothes that I wear regularly. And the bottom is for underwear, which is separated accordingly. The other side of the closet is where I put my kawaii clothes. At the top is my small hat collection, and on the bottom is where I store my wigs. My bathroom is not so kawaii, so we won't go in there. And that is my room. It's pink and cute and has lots of Sanrio stuff, but I try to keep it simple. An organized space looks fine on its own without having to add fluff and stuff in between. So my biggest advice is to be logical in the way you arrange and display your items. Make sure your space serves you and provides you with tranquility and ease. You can see my old bedrooms and their transformations watching my YouTube playlist. It also includes videos with tips on how to create a cute and functional space, as well as easy DIY tips and ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end, and if you want to see more room content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. My name is Rosie, this is my channel Rosio Serial. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.